On September 9, 2022, the Riverstead County Sheriff's Department received a public records request from Viacom CBS for the names of all people with concealed weapons permits. Upon receiving the request for public records, the department sought legal advice to determine if there were any valid exemptions the department could use in order to exempt the names of concealed weapon permit holders. As a result of outside legal analysis, it was determined the issue of disclosing concealed weapons holder names was addressed by the California Supreme Court, who ruled that upon request, public agencies must disclose the full names of concealed weapons permit holders. In its ruling, the California Supreme Court addressed two exemptions to disclosure, which otherwise would exempt disclosure. Government Code Section 6254K, records, records, the disclosed of which is exempt or prohibited pursuant to federal or state law, including but not limited to provisions of the evidence code relating to privilege. Used in conjunction with the California Constitution Article 1, Section 1, and or Evidence Code 1040, exempting disclosure of private information disclosed of public agencies. Point two was Government Code Section 6255, a general exemption where the public interest served by not disclosing the records clearly outweighs the public's interest served by disclosure of the record. In short, the court ruled neither exemption is applicable to the full names of concealed weapon permit holders and the names must be released. Based on the court precedent and the lack of exemptions to disclosure, the department was forced to disclose the full names of all current concealed carry permit holders. However, no additional identifying information was disclosed. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department does not take the release of concealed carry permit holders lightly, but was mandated to release the names by court precedent and a lack of protections within our current code. If you seek a change in the law, please contact your local California state legislator. So we could have set that up a little bit better. What happened was um, in Riverside, we uh, uh, what, she, what Alicia was just reading and did a fantastic job was a letter that went out to um, basically all the CCW holders in Riverside County. And uh, they were asking for all this, all this private information for uh, CCW holders in in the county. And uh, Bianco, uh, Sheriff Bianco, um, tried hard to fight it, but the court compelled him to give them a little bit of information. Way too much information, but it was still not as much as they asked for. And basically he's saying, he's, he's disclosing it. He's saying, look, here's what, he, the sheriff's saying, here's what happened. If you're a CCW holder, we had to give your name to... Viacom to CBS um, because they requested it. The names of all people with concealed weapons permits. Um, so you, you didn't get any. You didn't get any other personal information. You didn't get their address, um, but they did get all their names, and that's crazy. How could a court file? I mean, how could a court do that? Well, they just uh, they just did. To they be never- to be fair, the court already has too much power in every single government agency. Like. When our founding fathers started the court system and the checks and balances system, it really wasn't working very well in terms of we make a law, but the real person who determines that law actually is the judicial branch. So therefore, in my opinion, the judicial branch already has too much power, in my opinion. So I don't, pretty- agree. I don't disagree with that at all. I think you're absolutely right. But you um, can't fix and, But that. this is the sheriff saying, hey, look, if, you know, we, were, we were made to do this from California law. We, 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 were, we were forced to do this. If you don't like that, you have to get a hold of your your state legislator and complain and say, hey, this isn't right. Right. But I don't see any. There's no need. There's no public need. There's no, There should be no requirement that Viacom gets any information no. about gun owners or CCW holders. I mean, I won't even get an Amazon account. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Somebody wants to show me a wants me to read a book for kids. Yeah. But I got to go to Amazon. I got to turn in a, give them a credit card. Eh, ain't doing that. I'm not going to do it. So I told them, mail me the book. Well, we tr- we don't have there's no such thing as privacy anymore. No, that's what I, I mean I'm hanging on to the little thread that I have, you know what I mean? Because you're right. What did I do the other day? I looked up something on on online. Yeah. Now I have 37 commercials or right. advertisements for that product. Well, I actually like that part. I you do? <laughs> but I mean, whether I buy it or not, I don't even have to buy the product, and I, I'll get inundated for about a month. Just stand really close to your phone and talk about it. Yeah. You get all the ads. Now, Mike, I do have a yeah. question based yes. on this, by the way. Uh, yes, sir. Who determines the California Supreme Justices for our state specifically? Is it just like the National Supreme Court 
where the president gets to elect those fellow people in, or, or in this case, does our governor uh, decide to let those people into the Supreme Court? Or well, can you, we actually vote? For yeah, those no, look on your ballot. Uh, you know, we, we, a lot of people have asked us, hey, you know, who should we vote for for judge? And we have gone back and forth. We're legally allowed to endorse, uh, you know, local judges. And we've had some, some, some folks on the radio here, um, you know, who are running for, for judge. But the best advice we've been given is to not endorse in these races for judges because if, a, um, if we have a lawsuit that goes in front of them and it's somebody we've endorsed for office, it could taint the case. So we've been instructed, you know, hey, you know what? Don't endorse in these in these judge races. So we can do other things. We can have them come and talk to our members at, at meetings, which is another important reason you should you should you know attend our our meetings, our, our monthly events. Um, and of course, we have them on the radio so we can we can inform you um, and let let people know. But yeah, absolutely, a big part of of who, you, who big part of your ballot is is who you're going to vote for for judge. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and this is why, you know, judges have know, don't, don't, too don't, much power. The people don't know anything about these judges. They don't know enough. And the other thing is. How do you find out? Well, there's a lot of different places you can go. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a recommendation right here, but there are places that, that, uh, judge judges. Um, but the other problem is, you know, if you've ever been to one of our meetings where we had a judge come talk or a candidate for judge come talk, or if you've listened to our interviews in the past, they can't answer questions. You know, they're running for judge, and if you say to them, like, well, hey, how would you rule in this situation? Oh, I can't tell you that. They can't tell you that. So how do we ba- – how, what do we do? How do we base our our endorsement? This was my question. <clears throat> I know, I'm right? looking at my ballot, and I recognize nobody. You know, I mean, I, 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 so – well, we had uh, – well, there are – well, I don't know. Well, I didn't look at that big <clears throat> book that comes from the, from the government, the voter. Yeah, you know. right. Would that have all the judges in it? Because I just I believe went, it does. I believe they have a, I went have a statement of, in there. I just went off of your guide, like I said, and, right. and DeMaio's. Did, did, did DeMaio do judges? I think he has some judges on yeah, there. Yeah, he, he had judges in there. Yeah, who did he have you done, did you, I don't recall the Murray, specifics. I think. I don't remember. You're lucky I, I got the circle filled in. <laughs> that was tough enough, let me tell you. Trying but it's, it is a tough – but I, I'm – you know, uh, Sheriff Bianco up in Riverside is really, truly one of my favorite elected officials. Oh, yeah. And I think he did everything he possibly could. But at the but end of the day – he still had to pull the numbers. He did. And everybody's got this, well, gee, he should have stood up and died on a hill and doing whatever. That's not real. Well, if it's not – okay, so they get rid of him. They bring another sheriff in. Yeah, it's just, make the same request. It's just not how it works. This idea that like, well, if you – you know, if you elect a constitutional sheriff and then they won't have to follow the law and blah, 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 you're living in a dream. Yeah, That's on. not how it works. And we so wish it did, but it doesn't. He did everything he could. He took it to court and he said, hey, I don't like this. I can't fight it. But at the end of the day, you know, he followed the court order. Right. He followed California law. Yeah. Um, what we have to do is get the right people elected. Because uh, for far too long, the Second Amendment community has been putting too many eggs in the judicial basket. Is mm-hmm. how I've been phrasing it, mm-hmm. and we just go ah, let's just sue. Yeah. Well, that takes millions of dollars, and you know it's still a crapshoot, and you know. But and the it, real it's sl- at least a five year deal, so be prepared. The other thing is that's not what that's not the design. Mm-mm. You know this this uh, American government system that we have. That's not the design. And you can appeal. The design is to be involved in in the election of mm-hmm. the person who represents you. Right. So, but it just seems to me like it never do. ends. It never ends. It, well, it never does end. That's the price. That's the price of freedom. Yeah. You know, ever, ever, what does it go? Ever build, I always get it. I always get it wrong. I've said it like a hundred times on the show. I know. The, but the price of freedom is ever vigilance. Oh, very good. Yeah. Right. It's yeah, beautiful. I, 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 <clears throat> but yeah. You're on top of that one. So this is something, I don't know what we're going to do with this, to be honest with you. Um, well, but it's, it's something to be aware of. And it's brand new, hot off the press. You heard now, so it that, now that's now that's Riverside. That's Riverside, right? They haven't done it to San Diego yet, not that I'm aware of. And how? So how do we fight it? I guess that's the next question. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I, I, I mean, the you know the way to fight it is to get the right people elected and and yeah, have them I mean, change the law. It could happen next Thursday. But if it if it if you know it, the way this reads, it, it already went to court. Mm-hmm. Judge already ruled on it. 
has already determined that, yeah, this is, you know. So this what is, is Vicam again doing with this information? We don't know. I, maybe that's a way to attack it. You know, ask Viacom, CBS, what are you, what what are you, you doing with this information? With this? You know? But we need to find some, some either uh, reporters or some politicians to pull them in and say, why are you doing this? That's a good question. All right, let's work on that. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it this afternoon. I think you should. It's still got daylight. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, you know, and what was that thing that, that uh, all these people, I should have my information before I throw out there. It was that, had What's a that? weird name, Jones. Something Jones, and they got uh, sued for a billion dollars. Jim Jones? No, it oh. was defamation of character during the Sandy Hook. Oh, uh, yeah, I know yeah. who you're talking about. What was that? What is that guy's name? What is it? Something Jones. Alex Jones. Alex, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex yeah. Jones is at what social media? Infowars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he says he doesn't have enough money. I don't understand that. I really that was look, insane. What he said was crazy and vile. Look what it cost him. But I don't understand. You know, when you sue somebody, you're suing for monetary damages. I'm having a hard time understanding where the where those monetary damages. It was like $100 million. Oh. It's something ridiculous. No, he's like up that. to a billion. It was a, mil- a billion dollars? Oh, it was every, like $900 every client bill- got Every client got 30 to $50 uh, million. I don't understand how they but can. It had something. The way the judge, because I, I listened. I was driving in the car, and I happened to hear it. Yeah. And the way the judge put it, it was it – was, uh, character uh the fact that he, they were making stories about the kids that really died that it really didn't happen it was all staged mm-hmm. so they had about two or three per and each one had was anywhere between 19 and 60 million i don't understand i don't understand how where, where the i i where I, that I, figure comes from how, how can they that was a jury it, it's it's horrible and tragic totally and he should have uh what he said is disgusting yeah, totally. And and insane. And I don't know what the reason was. But I don't understand how they can justify that amount of money in damages to to the to the victims. Yeah. Um it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I don't well, know how it, they can it was say, eight victims. It was it was not one, it was eight. Well, I, was eight. I don't understand how they can say, you know, these this this well, victim is out there. You have this more homework. You have more homework today. <laughs> no more TV for you. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.